Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 46th tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we are going to check out the go-to statement. Now, go-to is one of the least popular statements in C and the reason why it's not too popular and the reason why you won't see too many people using go-to or even recommending go-to as, uh, as an alternative to some of the other constructs in C is because uh, it can create complications in your code. Right, so as a programmer, you would want to keep as far away from GoTo as possible. But the reason why I'm discussing this and the reason why I'm, I've made a tutorial on GoTo and I've shared it with you guys is because it's been a part of the C language uh, since C's inception and uh, it hasn't been deprecated. Right, so people who made C think that it should be a part of the language and that's why it's there. And it's not just with C, but with a lot of other programming languages. So you know, you should know how GoTo looks like and what it does, but. Uh, in reality, you would rarely see it uh, in any piece of code, and you know very few people in the world use GoTo, and you wouldn't want to use it yourself, right? So, um, whatever you're going to do using GoTo, you would have some other way of doing the same thing, and you would probably, you know, prefer that way. So, anyway, as you can see, using code blocks, I've saved a file. I have uh, named it code one store statement C, and on line one of this file, I have my header file. On line two, I have the main function, and then I have the curly braces for main. Now, the program that we're going to make in this uh, tutorial is going to be the same as we made for uh, the loops, right, and also for the break and continue statement. That is, we're going to have a variable in the program um, and uh, we'll give it an initial value of 0 and then we're going to loop through the value uh, 0 to 10 using, you know, some loop and we're going to use while in this program and uh, then we're going to try to fit and go to somewhere in between and see what it does. Right, so let's get started and uh, I'll first declare my variable and to do that I'll have to type in int space a and a is the name that I want my variable to have and then I'll give it a value 0 initially. On the next line I'll type in the keyword while and then in parentheses I'll type the condition for while which is going to be a less than 10. And the next line I'll type in the opening curly brace for while and uh, since I want to display the value of a on screen for each iteration I'll use printf and then I'll display a is and then a space in the percentage D format specified a new line escape sequence and then the name of the variable after the comma which is a put the semicolon to terminate the statement and update my control variable by typing in a plus plus and then the semicolon to terminate this statement. I save the file and when I click on build and run you can see that this is the output we get right so a is 0, a is 1, a is 2 up to a is 9. So we get 10 sentences uh, on the screen. Now what if you want to see value of A only till 5 and not beyond that, right? So of course you can use break to do that, but let's see how we can do the thing using go to, right? So of course you have to use the if statement to check when the value of A reaches 5 within the loop. And uh, my test condition for if is going to be if A equal to, equal to 5, then within curly braces, that is within the if block, I'll type in the keyword go to. And then I'll type in the name of a label. Now we don't have the label anywhere in the program yet, but we're going to place it somewhere. And I'm going to call my label out, right? So you have to type in your label in uh, uppercase letters. It's a convention, and um, that's why I've written O U T in capital letters. And then I put a semicolon to terminate this statement. And since I want the compiler to move out of the loop when the go to statement is executed. I'll have to place my label outside the while loop, right? So immediately outside the closing uh, curly brace for the while loop, I'll type in the keyword out just the way it was uh, inside the loop. And uh, then I put in a colon and I can type in statements that I wish to be executed if uh, the go to statement runs, right? So I would just use one printf statement to display the message we are out of the loop. And uh, that should be good enough. And I'll put in a semicolon to terminate the statement. I'll save the file. When I click on build it up now, you see that I get one, two, three, four, five, six. I get six sentences in the output window. A is zero, A is one, A is two, up to A is five. And then I see the message we are out of the loop, right? So uh, the reason why GoTo is not a good programming construct is because if your program is long, right? Now you have uh, out here. And uh, if suppose your program is really, very really long and you place it somewhere, then it can be really difficult to look for where the label is in your program, right? That's one thing. What some people do is they do not um, 
move out to labels but they move out to line numbers that's even worse and the reason why it's worse is because it's worse is because if you make some modifications to your code and because of those modifications the line numbers of the statements in your program changes then uh, you know then go to can produce you know unusual results and uh, trust me you would really uh, not want to use go to and uh, as i said in the beginning of this tutorial there would be different ways of doing the same thing as you would want to do using go to so you know in this tutorial we could have used break and um, you know if you were doing something else you using go to then you could just maybe you know think about it a little and uh, think of alternative constructs and you know that that would uh, be a better approach so anyway thank you so much for watching this tutorial i'll see you guys in the next one in which uh, we'll discuss something interesting again and please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and i'll see you soon